Now, our death flower is starting to sprout fruit. Well, flower, why am I saying fruit? <laughs> it's a flower. We've got a brand new death flower. We could sell it for 348 simoleons. Is that it? That is like, that's not much money. I thought we'd get more for it. Not that we actually need it anymore because we have come to the decision to keep Chantal Chantal a ghost because she is so insufferable and she keeps dying. I think it's a lot less risky if we just leave her as a ghost, then she can't die again. So what I'm thinking we do is when we finish looking after our crickets and our bees is um oh my god our bees are enraged and they are attacking Shanice oh my god Shanice I'm so sorry oh my god they're gonna kill you up oh please Shanice don't you bloody die now <laughs> I can't deal with another death on this lot what I'm thinking is okay we make a vitality nectar because they do sell for a lot of money so if we can find a way to just churn out these vitality nectars like we're gonna be rolling in the cash I mean already just uh why is it or oh it's like aged. I was going to say, why is it lightly aged? We only just made it. It's because we have a special trait, neck to know it all, and sometimes it can be pre-aged. So that's already 2,156 simoleons. So when we age it properly, it should be worth even more. So we'll probably only have to sell like one a week, and then we could just make our money that way. Also, love how ghost sims, they still have all the same needs as other sims. I feel like the game should process ghosts differently so they have different needs. Like, why does a ghost need to eat? It doesn't make any sense. Why would a ghost need to have a shower? And Shanice, why are you standing in the shower? I'm trying to get Shanice to make herself fruit salad, but she's just talking to herself. Shanice, can you just get on with it, please? You're being so <laughs> insufferable. Bloody hell. Honestly, trying to get Shanice, Shanice to do anything is a nightmare. Now she won't even eat her food properly. She just there and now she's doing it thank god oh she's eating it all in one bite that was very quick <laughs> now i'll be honest our farm is getting like severe lagging issues that keep happening all of the time i don't know if it's because we have so many animals now but like it's getting to the point where it's severe it is also a pc issue guys if anybody knows how computers work like my disc is either at zero percent or it's at a hundred percent well 50 but technically 100 anybody is like a computer nerd and you know what's wrong like please tell me because I've had this computer it's like been wrong ever since I bought this PC and I did try to confront PC specialist about it and they just gave me basic advice like oh update your drivers they didn't actually they, I think it might be a hardware issue but guys if somebody knows please let me know because it's infuriating oh no now the game has crashed <laughs> but it only happens with the Sims 4 it doesn't happen with any other game that I play so uh everything we just did um progress loss <laughs> I mean we didn't do much all we did was make vitality nectar but it does mean we've got to clean the bloody animal sheds again which i can't be bothered to do these animal sheds get so dirty so quickly i don't know if it's like a bug or something but they literally get like putrid like the green smog outside of them every single day i don't know if it's a bug or if it's an intended feature but it is very intense i mean call me naive okay i feel like working on a ranch in real life would actually be easier than it is in the sims at least you know you're ranch wouldn't crash in real life as well. They wouldn't get as dirty as easily. I think it'd be a lot better. Another thing I do find very overwhelming about ranch life is cleaning up the horse poo. Why do they poo so much? I'm not even feeding them. <laughs> I haven't fed them for days. I don't know why they're pooing so much. Also, like, I'm pretty sure, okay, I literally just put feed out for the chickens and I put it out, like, constantly, like, so much and they just eat it all up instantly and then they complain. Like, this, okay, I'm going off a bit. This go okay I literally like literally just cleaned him and he's already dirty why is he already dirty because like I literally just cleaned him and look my hen is starving and I have been feeding my hens like literally non-stop like I spam this like every in-game hour I just do you think there's something broken do you think like my save file's corrupted or something but like I'm putting so much feed out constantly and they eat it all up and then like they're still starving genuinely don't know what's going on see test Claws 5.0 is thinking of leaving soon due to inadequate care. Tessa Claws, I haven't done anything wrong, mate. <laughs> I literally just cleaned you. I cleaned you twice in the past day and you're complaining. This one as well, I literally, I cleaned them all like twice. <laughs> Why are they still complaining? And that ferocious flange is tense for some reason. We're going to try and calm him down. What's wrong with you, mate? I'm all here for you. I'm going to help you. Don't you worry. Now, it looks like it's the next day in game. It looks like our death flower. It's already produced new fruit. So if it produces one every day, that's actually quite OP. We can make like one death fruit nectar a day or vitality nectar, I should say. 
And because Shanice has the special trait, it's pretty OP. So this nectar, just lightly aged normal quality, 2,156 simoleons. God knows how much it's going to be when it's actually aged. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we still need to complete our bloody master aspiration, winning five golds. This is like literally the hardest one, weirdly. Like, how come it was so easy to become the ultimate champion? But to come like the step before an ultimate champion, somehow it's much harder to get a gold. I'm not too sure why but it can be very stressful although we did get a gold this time thank god you know seeming that we accidentally sold all of our other first place trophies i am gonna sell the new ones i know it's pretty bad it's just like what else are we gonna do because we lost them all and like i'm not gonna do every single race again to get all the trophies again that'd be ridiculous also we have enough reward points now for some special traits i'm gonna go for antiseptic so her hygiene need drops a lot slower so it's easier to resolve her needs. Also, I'm gonna bring Ferocious Flange over to our lot. I like how she's calling the horse to come over, as if that's how it would work in real life. The reason why is because I want to look after the horse, but the ranch gets a little bit glitchy. So I feel like if the horse comes over here, like maybe it won't be as glitchy. I mean, what I'd like to do, Ferocious Flange, is start training you up too, because eventually we are gonna have to sell Feisty Flange and you're gonna be the new hero of the ranch. But first we need to to maximize the temperament skill because when that's level 10 just like with feisty flange ferocious flange will get the well-mannered foal traits which will obviously make raising his needs again in the future a lot easier how do we get that trait we spam talk to and spam whisper to and spam tell a joke and eventually he'll basically get it we're already level six so we've done quite a lot also i haven't forgot about shanice's new fitness aspiration to be fair okay she has been losing a lot of wow she actually has lost a lot of weight she's lost that really quickly so well done Shanice you've got your body to a much healthier place so I'm very proud of you for getting lots of aspiration reward points do we have enough to get like a brand new trait that's actually useful yeah I might give her the antiseptic one again just as we did with Chantel just so like we never have to worry about their needs it does make life a lot easier now when we oh my gosh Shanice <laughs> no I never Fire Shanice! These, why do, can somebody just explain? Why do they keep starting fires? I'm so, oh my God. I can't deal with it. Oh, Chantal's extinguishing it. She's like, I've been here. I've done this five times already. <laughs> I know how it works. Oven, we're losing all of our money. I just can't deal with you anymore, Shanice. I can't deal with you. I just wanted you to make yourself some dinner. Right, try again, please. Though we can't make much food. Where the hell is all of our food gone that was in our fridge? We've got so much food in here. You're telling me like we literally can't cook anything. Maybe we're going to need to go over to the shop in the morning and get some food, like some meat and things. God, I'm sorry, Chantal. You get some sleep. That was very traumatic for you, as it was for me, as it was for all of us. It's four o'clock in the morning, but Shanice is cooking herself dinner. Better late than never. Oh my God, she started a fire again. <laughs> Shanice, why did you start a fire again? Shanice, you're not helping with me quitting vaping. Shanice, you're stressing me out so much. You really are pissing me off. <laughs> Christ's sake. And now the oven is, needs replacing again. Right, Shanice, just microwave yourself some chicken nuggets. Like, I can't imagine that one going wrong. Please just do that. Like, you will not set the microwave on fire. That's not how this game works. Thank you, Shanice. You are so insufferable. Even worse than Chantal at this point. Right, let's all get back to bed. It's been a long bloody day. And we've got some nocturnal sleeping pattern now that's completely be screwed up thanks to your fire Shanice. Also one gameplay element that we have not touched on at all is community jobs. So if you click on the board you can click on community jobs and then there are different things you can do and then you can earn money for them. Although the only problem is it's a rabbit hole experience and I'm just thinking like is it really worth the money like 410 simoleons for four hours work in the game where we go off do a community job? Like I just feel like we could earn more money doing the actual races themselves. I don't like the jobs feature in this pack i do wish that the pack 
actually came with a proper live career. I think that would have been very good. Now, please say we get another gold master trophy. That's all we need. Although very weirdly, there are only four categories of competitions, yet you need to win five master horse competitions. So even though there's only four, you need to win five. So I assume we've got to do one like a second time, which is a bit weird. Oh, we got a bronze. Look, how do we get a bronze? We're level 10 horse riding skill. The horse itself is a level 10 at everything. We were both in a confident mood. How did it go so wrong? I just feel like there's no strategy or anything to this. It's just like potluck. It doesn't feel like a rewarding gameplay element. It doesn't, I'll be honest. Okay, we're back again the next day. I just want to get these races over with. Now, honestly, if we don't win a Western pleasure, I'm going to be fuming. It seems like, you know, maybe I'm not very good at giving a Western pleasure. I mean, I'm all right at giving pleasure, just not Western pleasure. <laughs> that was a bit too much information. The game is lagging now as punishment for me being inappropriate. I am sorry, game. I'm also sorry, YouTube monetization system. And uh, oh, the game's frozen again. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, we got a bronze again. That is not fair. Why do we only keep getting bronze? I don't understand it. It's a little bit insane how hard it is to do these bloody master ones. I'm confident we can do it, feisty flange. Me, you, Chantal, Chantal, we're gonna do it. We're here, like, even at the crack of dawn before they're even open. Right, let's go. We've got to do this bloody Western Pleasure Master. If it's the last thing we do. I know we can do it. I know we can pretend that we're doing a Western Pleasure competition and I know we can get gold. Come on, feisty flange. I'm praying for the horse gods. Oh my god, we got silver again. <laughs> I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. Okay, now, this time, if it's... A Wait, can we... Pause, please. What the hell is going on here? Dominique Soto, Alda, a ghost. Ian Moody, a ghost. All these sims just like spawned on this nightclub lot, like clipping all over each other, which is a bit weird. The game is lagging. Um, like why are there ghosts everywhere? <laughs> Fuck knows what's going on today. We're gonna try one more time. If this honestly doesn't work, okay, I'm gonna give up on doing Western pleasures because clearly I'm not very good at giving Western pleasures. I just don't know how they keep fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> we got bloody silver again. Right, let's go home then. I've, I've given up. All right, I've given up. In the meantime, Shanice, Shanice and us are still on the Vitality Nectar grind. Gosh, like they're worth so much money. It's honestly ridiculous. What is this? Beeswax. Oh, that's from our bee thing. I'm not sure what to do with beeswax. I think you use it to make candles, but like I don't really see any point in doing any candle making in this Let's Play. It's not really like a ranch thing to do. And I mean, maybe, just maybe we could stop lagging out today. <laughs> Maybe we could just, you know, run smoothly and properly. And um, oh my god, what happened to our banana tree? Oh my god, see, this is another glitch, okay, that I've mentioned before with the Sims 4, that sometimes trees will just, like, disappear. Like, where did my tree go? Where did my banana tree go? It was a full tree, you know, yesterday. Now it's a bloody sapling. <laughs> like, what happened to it? What happened to it? I don't know. At least our animals aren't dying for once. That's always a bonus. you got to see it on the bright side. Oh, just threw my phone across my desk. Oopsie daisy. And uh, Ferocious Flange have not forgotten about you. Also, Candylicious Clarence. Now, I have not, like, spoken to you, you know, for a few in-game weeks. It's not really a relevant horse, and I'm just thinking, okay, Chantal, can you just stop with this grass, please? Thank you. I'm just thinking, the horse itself, okay, it's not really useful. Oh, where did it glitch over to? <laughs> where did you go? Oh, Oh, here you are. We're glitching out, it seems. I'm just thinking, can you please stop glitching around Candylicious Clarence? I'm thinking, okay, we actually feed an age up treat to the horse because we don't need it in our lot because it's literally like not doing anything. Also, I just feel like if we get rid of the horse, the household might actually freeze a lot less because we have less sims in the household. So what's happening here? We're glitching out. I just fed it an age up treat and it's running off and it's not aging up. So that, oh, for Christ's sake, glitched out. Let me try again, feed you another age up treat. Is it going to work this time? Are you going to rage up? Yep, we did. Lovely. Candylicious Clarence, you are such a plain and boring looking horse. I don't like you, I'll be honest. Oh my god, her value is only 1,700. That's not as much as I thought, actually. I thought she'd be worth a lot more money. Oops. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to sell her. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I aged her up into an adult, so we could sell her. So when we go over to do the horse competition, 
Jordan for the billionth time tomorrow, I will sell her just for a little quick bit of money. I mean, we could always age up Ferocious Flange as well, because Ferocious Flange is also going to have the well-mannered temperament trait because the temperament is over level five. Let me save just before we do it, just in case we don't actually get the trait, then I can just uh, quit and come back. But I'm pretty sure we can. So Ferocious Flange, let's age you up. Come on, let's go. There we go. Yeah, we earn the bonus skill. So we've already got six. So that's really, really good. So I believe Ferocious Flange will now actually gain skills relatively fast just because of all the different bonuses and things we've got on our horses, which is pretty OP. I mean, already we've just got to endurance level two and that's only in about, you know, 20 in-game minutes. So that's pretty good. I mean, we're already close to endurance level three if the game wants to stop lagging. I probably shouldn't be doing this in speed three. We are endurance level three already. That is pretty good. So well done to you, horsies. Okay, I'm going to have to save an exit and come back. So I don't know why yet I have a bad feeling, guys. Our save file is corrupted. Maybe it's because Chantal Chantal has died so many times. I think something has just gone wrong in the save file. I hope it hasn't because I want this save file to be used every time a brand new pack comes out. So we loaded back in. It seems a lot less laggy. Hopefully it's going to work out all okay. Got Shanice. I've been neglecting her for so long because we've been playing with Chantal. Like her needs are quite low. <laughs> I am sorry, Shanice. I won't be ignoring you the entire let's play, I promise. We're going to make her have a fruit salad for breakfast so she can't actually burn the kitchen down because you're not cooking a fruit salad. Right, Chantal too. You're going to have a fruit salad. Definitely don't trust her in the kitchen. <laughs> now, today is a good day for a horse race, but we're not doing a Western pleasure. I don't know if it's Feisty Flange's fault, Chantal Chantal's fault. I don't know if it's my fault. Could be your fault. Whoever's fault it is, for some reason, we're not very good at performing a Western pleasure. So instead, when the game has finished lagging, because it is lagging again, we are going to... Oh my God, look. Feisty Flange just jumped on that autonomously. Isn't that really cute? You're just running around going mental. Okay, what I was saying was, okay, we're going to do a master in barrel racing, but not Western pleasure and see if that does anything different. See if we get a goal that way. Hopefully it should still count to the aspiration, even though we've already done it before. But uh, oh my God, we only got silver. Oh, <laughs> why are we only getting silver? So I have a plan, guys. The plan is if we save the game just before we do the competition and we don't get a gold, we can just quit the game and um, come back in. <laughs> that is like so cheating. I know it's cheating, but I just feel like when there's no skill involved, it just seems a little bit monotonous, like going back again and again and again and again and again and again, because it's not like we're having to try hard in order to do it. If there was actually some kind of skill involved, I wouldn't save an exit if we don't get the desired result, but there's no skill involved. Okay. Oh, we got a gold medal, so we don't need to save an exit. Absolutely lovely. Well done, Chantal Chantal and Feisty Flange. Now we only have one more to go till we complete the aspiration. Now off camera, I did buy some food from the shop because we were limited in terms of what we could cook at our home lot. Oh, we got 24 hours to pay our bills. And then the next notification will be your powers being shut off because I feel like there's a glitch, okay, with energy in the game because the bills get like shut off immediately. Like they don't give you a chance to pay the bills, especially because the eco living lot trait thing wasn't working very well either. Oh my gosh, look at all this poo on my floor. I thought the maid was supposed to be cleaning this up. Don't tell me the maid has glitched as the ranch had now. <laughs> Everyone's glitchy out. I mean, we have so much manure. But how much would it be if we sell them all? 510 simoleons for selling horse shit. I mean, it's not a bad deal. At least we've got a lot more food now so we can actually cook normal things. I say cook normal things like we could still burn the house down. That is a possibility. Oh, a high energy protein plate. Okay, that sounds quite useful. I'm going to make a party size serving of that. That way we won't have to cook again for a few days. So Shanice didn't burn the house down in cooking it. Congratulations. Also, now Shanice has achieved her desired body. I don't feel like we need to go all the way with the new fitness skill aspiration because we can just change it to a new one. I feel like we've done enough 
enough of it now. The money aspiration itself is pretty easy. There we go. We've already got tons of reward points. Enough to potentially get a new trait, like a seldom sleeper trait. Or do we save up for the never needing sleep trait? I okay, I think we'll save it up. It's probably a lot better that way. In fact, Shanice, Shanice, we have some finely aged nectar. So to give a boost to your new aspiration to make money, we can sell some finely made fruit nectar. That'll bump up our cash. Oh, there we go. Aspiration completed. Have we done the whole one? <laughs> that was easy. Apparently we've earned over 200k simoleons in our lifetime as well. Did we get like a reward trait for that or something for that aspiration? That was so easy to complete. We didn't get one. Oh no, we did. We got shrewd. Shrewd sims receive a direct deposit each week based on their household funds. That's so random, but so useful. We'll do country caretaker because it relates to what we're doing on the ranch. Also, haven't forgotten about you, ferocious flange. We'll encourage the horse actually to do some practicing with the barrels, seeing that you're going to be taking over Feisty Flange when Feisty Flange eventually gets sold off. I assume he's going to gain the skill pretty fast. Yeah, it's going up pretty fast, so that's always good. Now, today we are going to be winning the horse riding aspiration. We're going to be completing it all. I'm saving before we start the competition, so if we don't get gold, we're just going to do it again and again and again and again. And I don't, every time we load here, all the sims like load on top of each other here is so weird. Anyway, okay, we will save and we will enter the competition. We're doing Master Barrel Racing. Okay, have we won? Yes, we have won. That means we have finally completed the Champion Rider Aspiration. I'm so relieved. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm just relieved. I mean, we didn't get many Aspiration Satisfaction points for that. I mean, that was a pretty big goal. I can't believe we didn't get many. Anyway, Grand Champ Trainer. These Sims train horse skills faster, sell horses for higher prices, have more confidence when riding and training, and almost always have a good time when riding. In fact, they are so good with horses that even horses have more fun when being ridden by them. They can also give competition advice to aspiring riders, so that is very useful. I also just noticed that she got the death by fire uh, trait. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. So how much can we sell you for now, Feisty Flange? 46,250. I honestly would have thought we could sell you for more. The price actually hasn't gone up at all, so I just feel like maybe that's a maximum price. I don't know. Feisty Flange, you're such a beautiful horse. I don't want to sell you. I actually feel like crying. <laughs> but deep down when it comes to it, Feisty Flange, Chantal Chantal doesn't care about you. All she cares about is money. As she only cares about money, I'm so, so sorry. Oh my God, I feel like a bitch. I'm so sorry, but we're getting rid of you. Goodbye, Feisty Flange. See you next time. We got, oh, we got 57,000 simoleons. So we did get more. So love that for you. Ferocious Flange, our other horsey, we still got you. We still got Candylicious Clarence, who's at home. Now, although we've completed the pack, one thing I would like to see is an elder horse because we haven't seen an elder horse before. So Candylicious Clarence, the horse that we don't actually really care about. I want to see what's going to happen if we age you up. You're already an adult. So what's going to happen when you're an elder, mate? Who knows? I mean, it doesn't look that differently from the adult horse, but obviously we can't do competitions and things. Although we can't do another age up treat. So we can't age it up to death. <laughs> That's a bit morbid, but that is what I wanted to do. But we can't. So instead, I think we're just going to sell you for 1,700 simoleons. Goodbye, sir or madam. I forgot what your sex was. The only horsey that we really care about is Ferocious Flange. Ferocious Flange, you are so ferocious. You've already got so many great traits. You're going to succeed so well in life. I already know it. I'm so happy we've done all of our aspirations. This is an incredible ranch that we've built. We've killed off four sims. Well, we killed off two sims, one of them three times. We built up the biggest, most beautiful looking ranch. I will pop the ranch on the gallery. Shanice ranch. This was the first ever Saxon Sims proper let's play I've ever done and actually stuck to till the end. I didn't think we'd make it because of all the glitches, but we did. I will back up this save so the next time a pack comes out or another let's play idea comes up, we can play with Shanice as the same household because in the past, I've literally just made like a brand new game with a brand new Shanice each time, but this time I'm going to stick with this Shanice for all of the let's plays we do. Also, as a reward, Chantel, okay, because you did do a good job. Have we got yet? Yeah, we've got a death flower, right? Shanice, get to work. We're going to raise you back from the dead, Chantal, for doing such a good job job. Okay, so we've got a Vitality Nectar. Chantal, it is all yours. There we go. Congratulations, madam. You are human again. Wonder what would happen if we drink it again as a human. Like, does it, does it like make you more alive? Not something I've ever thought about testing. She's very, very
very happy. And I'm, oh no, now she's just, okay, now she's passed out drunk. So, drown your sorrow, Chantal. You've had a tough life. I know it's been very hard. I definitely did not make her pass out drunk just for a screenshot. <laughs> Bloody hell. Chantal, I'm so sorry. Right, you take a nap in your little bed. You're absolutely so hungover. I'm so sorry. Shanice, I'm sorry for making you a nectar slave. We're gonna collect all the bottles now because we're never ever gonna come back here ever, ever again. So we may as well sell all of our crap. We're officially at 136k simoleons, which is insane. Thank you so much for watching the Let's Play. I appreciate it more than you think. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future videos. I will see you in the next one.